Hello and welcome back to my channel and to another food shopping haul. So this week I've been to Aldi. I really needed to stock up on sauces and pickles and that kind of thing. We eat a lot of salads and we've run out of everything that goes on them. So I'm going to start off with the fresh fruit and veg. I've got an iceberg lettuce, some bananas. I've got four red peppers, some jazz apples. These are $1.99 for six, I think. I got some of these nectarines. I thought I might jazz up the salads a bit by adding nectarine, like maybe to a chicken salad. I know that goes really well. And then while Steve and I were out the other day, we had lunch in a restaurant and we had a salad that had pomegranate seeds on. And it was really, really nice. So I got two loads of these. I figured we could probably, one pack will do two of us. So I got two of those. They were 95p, but I thought it might make a nice change just to add a little bit of like something different to a salad. I got some monge too and some asparagus tips to roast and have with like salmon or something. Two cucumbers and these are massive as well. They're six, I think they're 65p or 55p. They've definitely gone up a little bit. I got some baby plum tomatoes, some seedless grapes and some mushrooms. Some of the crinkle cut frozen chips and some potato waffles. I got these cheesy bean slices which I've got before. I think they're about £1.45 for two. But they're also doing these new chilli beef bakes. So they're British beef hand finished in a chilli and parsley. Hand finished with a chilli and parsley sprinkle. I just thought they sounded quite nice. And they're really big. So I got two of those. I thought they might make a nice lunch for the boys at the weekend. Maybe with some salad or something. Two of the Mexican rice pouches which Steve takes for his lunch. And he adds pepper, chicken breast, like fresh pepper, chicken breast, and then some of the Skeeter's smoky chipotle sauce. And then he heats it up in the microwave at work and it tastes like sweet and sour apparently. So I've got two of those. They're only these ones are only 39p, I think. Two lots of zip seal bags. These are 109 and I've got 25 small and 20 medium. I've got my favourite ever hand wash, which is the rhubarb and rose. This is the nicest smelling and it makes your hands really soft. I got some pickled onions, some sliced beetroot, some gherkins. Oh, these are the ones with chilli. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't even read it, but we actually like the chilli ones, which is good. And then I needed things like sauces. So I got lighter than light mayonnaise, some sweet pickle, three lots of the smoky chipotle barbecue because we all love it and it doesn't last very long in this house. <laughs> I got two of these Red Hot Wings buffalo sauce as well because I think it was 75 or 79p and I thought that was a really good price and sometimes we have that kind of thing on salads as well or in burgers. And I also got some of these Sweetie Drop Red Peppers. They're just so nice and they're not very spicy but they're really, really good. I think they're £1.79 or something like that. They're around £2, not much more. I got some of the softest premium toilet tissues. Is that 18? I think there's 18 in there. No, 24. 650 for 24. Got some Vimto freezy pop things to put in the freezer, obviously. Some of the Meatster Pepper Army mini dupes. Some British mature cheddar. I got another one of the red hot wing sauces. I got two lots of British oak smoked ham. I think this was £2.19 of the 14 slices, so I got two of those and I also got some turkey breast because I thought I could make like a Subway ham and turkey salad and then the boys could have a ham and turkey actual sub. So I bought the rolls, the cheese and herb ones, these are really cheap, you get four and they taste just like Subway rolls. So these, like I said, are cheese and herb, but they do Italian and they also do another one. <laughs> I think it's more of a plain one as well, but yeah, they're really, really good and they're very, very cheap. Really lovely and soft as well. We've got some Biscoff Crunchy Spread, which is £1.79, so it's quite a lot cheaper. I did go to buy it in Tesco the other day and it's almost £3, I think. Four lots of oat milk. We only buy, like, alternative milks. We don't buy dairy milk, so... I got four of those, which are 89p. I got a double strength squash, which is apple and strawberry. Two katsu curry rice pots for lunches for the boys at the weekend. I'm going to be doing some cheese bacon, cheese and bacon burgers. So I got six sliced seeded burger buns, and these are 99p. 
one of their loaves of just medium soft white bread and it really is soft you know, sometimes you pick it up and you can just tell it's going to be really really nice so i got one of those some tortilla wraps and um, one pack of pan au chocolat because i am slowly weaning them off those i got some milk chocolate wafer bars and some milkshake biscuits these are really nice if you haven't tried them they're like milk and cocoa cream filling in like a crispy biscuit so i've got some of those some double chocolate cookies got seven bags of mini cheese bakes these are 85p for seven which is really good six packets of prawn cocktail crisps and six packets of thai sweet chili lentil pearls these were 85p for six and i think the prawn cocktail are about 79p and got a few packets of our sea salt there's five individual bars in here and it's one pound fifty got some of those two lots of coffee pods and these are the ristretto ones and i think they're one pound 35 for 10 which is a really really good price and they're actually very nice so i've got some gravy bones for the dogs got some harvest morn crisp cereal this is the chocolate one not the healthiest of cereals but it's right now and again as a treat and then i got some pots of choc which i think are 99p for four and some free range eggs so that is everything i bought i spent just under 80 pound which was a really really good shop actually to be honest this week and i'm stocked up on everything i need so this week we are going to be having the subway salads and subways i'm going to be doing salmon with roasted vegetables and the boys will probably have that plus like a jacket potato as well and steve and i'll just have like the roasted veg i'm going to be doing a pomegranate nectarine and chicken salad or i might do two different ones and put pomegranate on one and nectarine on another we've got the chili bakes for a lunch i'm also going to be making a chinese chicken curry using the mayflower sauce that i've got in the cupboard and tonight i'm going to be doing gammon steaks chopped up with cheese and beans on jacket potatoes and i'm going to do a roast dinner with some beef that i've already got in the freezer really need using up so i might slow cook it and then I'm going to do roast potatoes and veg. We've got lots in, which is why this is a bit of an odd looking shop. So the cupboard is full of onions, roast potatoes. I've got carrots. I've got broccoli. I've got gravy. Um, I've got baked beans. I've got yogurts, apples. So not a great deal needed, but just weird bits this week. Sometimes it just happens like that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to leave me a like and subscribe if you're not already. And I will be back really, really soon with another video. Take care, guys. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too.